welcome to the John Report. I'm John. Here's my report. Controversial Cairo TV news director John Lipman, known to some staffers as the Prince of Darkness, has quit Cairo for a job in Los Angeles. Station management has announced that they are seeking a replacement with the same people skills as Lipman, but unfortunately, Jeffrey Dahmer is tied up in Milwaukee. <laughs> The new mayor of Tukwila says he wants to pull his community together so they can all have the same goal. He went on to say that that goal is to catch every rerun of the Dukes of Hazard. <laughs> In May, AT&T will start marketing video phones, telephones with TV screens. They will have a feature that renders the screen inactive if Ken Schram calls you. <laughs> Seattle's Totem Girl Scout Council is proposing to make it optional to promise to serve God. They will, however, leave in a section about promising to harass the hell out of people until they buy cookies. <laughs> After receiving a crank phone call this week, CNN News almost reported that President Bush had died. CNN editors became suspicious, however, when the caller kept asking if they had Prince Albert in a can. <laughs> the Seattle Times has started a science column called The Why Guy, but the paper denies that they're ripping off Bill Nye the Science Guy. The Times also announced they'll soon carry a new fitness column called The Speedy Walker. A three, and a, a three and a half story tall IMAX film of a Rolling Stones concert opened yesterday at the Pacific Science Center. One person who saw the film called it an uplifting and empowering experience. He went on to say there's nothing like seeing a 35 foot tall close up of Keith Richards' face <laughs> to make you feel a little better about yourself. <laughs> Residents of houses near McCord Air Force Base in Tacoma live in the crash zone and could be in grave danger. Despite this, the area is still considered Tacoma's safest neighborhood. <laughs> Finally, Chuck Knox signed as head coach of the L.A. Rams this week, but says he harbors no grudges against Seahawk owner Ken Baring. Knox said, quote, Mr. Baring made a fine effort, gave 110% to make... Ah, screw it. I'm out of here. The guy's an ass. <laughs> this has been the John Report. Thank you. And we'll be right back.